Alright, welcome back everybody. My name is Atrus. Today we're playing StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today we're playing on Orena against another Protoss player named Dread. Um, just say good luck to my opponent and uh, we're going to get stuck in here. We're going to go for a gateway first, uh, simply because this map is very fast from one base to another for ground attack, so it's very susceptible to, uh, you know, very fast zealots or um, usually adepts, but that kind of a thing. It's very fast to get into, uh, get into trouble. So gateway first is the order, at least for me. So make a uh, 14 pylon, 15 gateway, um, 15, 16 gateway, which just whenever you have the money, really. And then I'm going to go immediately to start scouting, and then I'm going to make my nexus next. Um, <clears throat> this map actually, or this game actually, uh, I'm starting to play around with Phoenix opening, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, really, only using the Stargate for that uh, is uh, you know Phoenix, and then into maybe you know maybe an Oracle or maybe into Tempest Carrier if they try and uh, counter with air themselves. Uh, but anyway, I've got a 14 pylon, or I'm sorry, a 17 nexus. I'm just getting ahead of myself. 17 nexus. I'm also dropping a pylon over there, and uh, just checking him out. He's not really got anything here, and uh, this opponent puts all of his tech uh, right at his natural, which is you know neat. It helps him to build the wall. So I see he's got his gateway down. So I'm just running back up to see if I can see a cyber core, and my cyber core is going down already uh, at. Uh, 18 I think 17 or 18 I'm not sure I'm also going to be getting my assimilators at 18 19 and continue to make probes uh, this map as well or this this matchup in particular as well I'm definitely trying to get a faster third than I usually do and that actually significantly helped because it boosts my economy to just a ridiculous amount and I'll definitely be you know focusing more on that uh, than I usually do but as you can see, I failed to uh, start mining, so I'm a little bit behind. In fact, I'm very behind uh, with my gas. So I'm going to go over here trying to, to save my probe. I end up not saving my probe. Um, but I am going to drop a gateway there and begin to wall off. This pylon is actually not in the right place, and uh, I suffer because of that, because uh, it's not in the right place. So I'm going to start chronoing out warp gate. And I probably could have waited until he was gone. Uh, I'm going to chrono out warp gate. I'm going to get an adept out. And I'm going to start mining my second assimilator. And continuing to make probes. Now like I said I am going into stargate. Uh, harass. And then you know, you know stalkers. Unless the phoenix can do enough for me. And I decide to go void race. This game in particular I decided to go back into stalkers and immortals. So I just follow him back, but I do see that he was building something, so I'm going to go back up, I'm going to see, he's got a forge, I don't see his cybernetics core, which is actually being built right now, uh, so I throw a uh, throw an assimilator down just to cause him problems, and I uh, send him over here, I'm either going to build a proxy uh, uh, pylon for warp ends or something else. My mothership core is a wee bit delayed, but she started about 3.30 or so. I am going to drop a stargate, another pylon, and another gateway. I'm going to send this, uh, I'm sorry, send this adept down to uh, to the Zelnaga tower, just so that I can at least see what's going on uh, when he's attacking or anything like that. Definitely a much more defensive game until I can get my stargates out. Dropping double assimilators and another gateway, or two gateways, I'm sorry, to uh, finish building my wall. Like I said, th my pylon and my natural, the first one I dropped, is actually one space too close to my nexus it should be one space over because then I can put a pylon right beside it and then a zealot adept immortal whatever can finish off the wall at about 4.15 or so I dropped my robotic facility um, I didn't see very much tech uh, building and I'm always worried about DTs as soon as my stargate's done though however I'm going to begin my phoenix production I'm going to chrono those out because I want them out as fast as possible now this is definitely not a game ending, you know, an early game ending uh, strategy. This is definitely prepping for uh, mid to late game uh, play, which 
I don't usually do. I try and finish it out early, but this is definitely. I, I enjoyed this ma this matchup a lot more than uh, I have very recently. Dropping three more gateways, as you can see from my production tab. Still making Phoenix. You want about three Phoenixes. Uh, but I'm five minutes in and I'm already jumping to my next base. Um, you can get a more greedy than that if you really want to. I mean, you can start getting a Nexus down at uh, you know four minutes or so. But you really want three Phoenixes, like I was saying. You want three Phoenix because then one can pick up and the other two can you know fight her and kill a probe you know in one shot. If I remember correctly, we'll have to watch to make sure. But uh, I am making an observer more than in a century so that I can do the hallucinate and uh, sort of check things out see what's going on I'm gonna make the observer like I said but I'm also queuing up an immortal right behind it <coughs> two observers I'm sorry two observers just so I can have uh, sight you know in more places than one um, my third nexus is going down and I'm constantly making probes even now beginning to saturate that base <coughs> my forge is going down just so I can start my upgrades my two more pylons at my natural are going down as well and I will be making a second stargate so that I can still pump out those phoenixes uh, you know more more quickly so I've got three phoenixes and I'm gonna begin going here in just a wee minute so I've got two observers I'm gonna put one down at my opponent's base I've got the Zelnaga tower and one at my natural I'm also going to put one at my third uh, begin making an observer so I can have one at my natural and at my third just in case of DTs that's the only reason I'm doing this um, beginning to flood minerals a wee bit so I warp in seven uh, seven stalkers <clears throat> and because of this my my mineral spending uh, kind of sucked this game because I'm I'm definitely not used to three base full saturation and uh, I, I really like it to be honest so you see I pick them up bam I've actually got four here so it, it's kind of wonky but uh, it, you know you, even with a photon cannon I can still jump in and kill a few things if I was paying attention a wee bit better I could have uh, you know killed something without losing a bunch of stuff picked up the zealot or the uh, stalker and I forgot that they can't move after they pick something up so uh, that was my bad but as you can see from my my mineral tab that I'm flooding minerals like crazy just because I'm not used to having three bases fully saturated and I'm not even able to keep up uh, I really need to start getting some upgrades, you know, then I can start warping and some charge lots and that. And uh, make more uh, gateways would really help as well to keep that money down. But uh, you can see from his, but while, let me back up real quick, making a bunch of uh, pylons to spend my money. When I ran through my opponent's base, I noticed that he didn't have a whole lot of tech. And that kind of worried me, that made me think about proxies. So that's what my... Uh, my uh, Phoenix were doing when they ran away. They're just looking around trying to find the proxy stuff. And the one base that I didn't check is where his proxy stuff is. My fourth base. So I'm going to make my sentry and I'm going to go confirm that uh, right now. I'm sending my hallucinated Phoenix. He's doing the same thing. But with my observers, I know that it's a hallucination. And even if it was real, I'd knock it down pretty quick. So I am building a fourth base here in just a few minutes, yeah, spending my money, I'm going to drop in another seven uh, stalkers, and as I go up to check that out, it dies pretty quick. So I've got uh, my fourth nexus going down, just so that I can easily transfer from my main over. But as you can see on the mini-map, that uh, he's got something over there, <clears throat> and it turns out that it's Void Race. So my opener was actually not bad to to defend against this I've got a crap load of stalkers without blink I might add I am bringing in another immortal and I am continuing to make Phoenix so I'm really hoping that my Phoenix will be able to knock it out along with my uh, stalkers but you can see he's got uh, I believe six or eight I can't remember exactly but I think it's I think it's eight so I go in and because I don't have blink I'm not able to get underneath it. I don't kill any. So now my oh I do kill one. I I guess it was six because I see only five there and I know I didn't kill that many. So I'm gonna bring my phoenixes over, I'm gonna bring all of my phoenix in and converge on them while my stalkers are getting behind them, and while my mothership core is going to both on overcharge those three pylons. And uh, we're gonna make short work of this, we're gonna go destroy the proxy, and then we're gonna go attack. 
but uh, these three bases, you can see from my mineral production uh, that I've just got so much money. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, that spending will come with with practice, but uh, I really enjoyed, you know, having that much overage and not even having to worry about warping in. I mean, I could make what I could make ten gateways and still have too much too much minerals so I'm gonna destroy his uh, proxy I'm going to build my fourth again and uh, you know just I've got so much money I'm almost maxed out and uh, I've got too much money you know I don't have I don't have enough uh, gas but you know I've just got so much money and this third base just helped so much it was just great I really really enjoyed this game just because of that so I'm gonna take my what in the world happened oh nothing <laughs> hopefully that didn't affect that and I'll find out in post but uh, my screen goes blank after 10 minutes so I'm gonna change that back to this view and uh, so my zealots I just keep warping in I just keep spending money you know uh, I'm also sending my uh, my stalkers the long way around and um, everything I'm warping in I just send down to the bottom of the Zeldaga Tower site. <clears throat> so I've got two immortals, I've got a crap load of zealots and I'm just gonna you know just gonna run in. I do see that he's making a third base. I definitely want to challenge that, keep him in two. And uh, that kinda tells me that he doesn't have a proxy base because he's you know moving to that one. I mean I suppose he could have a proxy base but I don't think he does. But anyway, I'm gonna try and challenge this. <clears throat> I'm getting uh what is that? The shield? I don't know why I got the shield instead of plus two, uh, but I did. So I'm warping in more stalkers, getting another immortal, and I'm going to start challenging him straight up. So I've got plenty of stalkers, plenty of immortals. I've got the council on the third base, and now I'm just pushing him back into his base. Got my phoenix over here, and they're going to go in, and they're gonna just going to start causing problems uh, at his main, so that I can try and divide his attention while my attention is divided. I do see an immortal right there. I uh, kill a couple of probes, bring these guys out, pick him up, and uh, I really should have either killed the immortal or killed the mothership core, and I did neither uh, because my attention was divided. Something because I'm not great at this game. Uh, yet I'm not able to multitask too well just yet, but my uh, my skill is growing, and I'm really enjoying the game, especially this kind of play. So anyway. Just gonna keep warping in, keep spending that money, but you can see that I've got 3,000 minerals uh, just just to spend. So I'm really, uh, really got too much. I'm gonna uh, focus down the pylon, that knocks out that. And now I'm gonna focus down the other one, and that's gonna effectively shut down him completely. And that's pretty much game. Uh, you can see he's not making anything, I'm not making anything, but I've got him stuck, you know. And he says GG. And I say GG back, and he quits here. There you go, and he quits now. So, uh, pretty good game. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I had a blast with the uh, uh, the Phoenix. I could definitely do better. Definitely need to streamline it a wee bit more. And uh, definitely need to get better at spending my money. But, uh, you know, that's just stuff that I'll have to learn, and I really have a blast with it. Uh, I definitely am going to play this sort of style a lot more instead of trying to finish out the game. Just sort of actual harass, not to try and do game in time, but just actually harass and then, you know, move into my mid-game, late game. And uh, that's just a, something I need to do to grow as a player. And, you know, I'm just screwing around right now. But uh, you know, I'm really enjoying it, having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, can't wait for the new season to uh, sort of reset and see how far I can get up into uh, into the ranks and in the ladders and stuff. But uh, I'll have the build order down below up to six minutes, just because I think six minutes is about as far as I can go uh, to make it at all viable for somebody to follow. Not that you necessarily want to follow me. Uh, I'm definitely not the best player on the planet, but if you want to, it's there. But uh, anyway, uh, this video has gone on long enough. I've been rambling enough. And uh, I'll have the build order down below. Click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ta.